Hello, I'm Waffles Are Better. In this video, I'll be talking about how to override vanilla world gen files such as this desert, which uh, has generated naturally in the overworld, except as you can see, it is grass. Uh, don't mind the sand behind me, that is a desert hills biome, but if I go into my debug screen, you can see that this biome is indeed a desert, even though it looks grassy. And behind me, you should be able to see that pillager outpost, which doesn't look like a normal pillager outpost. And this also does not look like how the nether usually looks. Don't mind the orange fog that's added by my shader. If I turn it off, you can see that the dimension has a starry sky, just like the overworld. But this is the nether, as you can see on my debug screen. Using the stuff in this video, you can do some pretty interesting and cool things. So it's actually quite easy to override the default files. As you can see, I have data, frost, dimension, and the frost.json, which is my frost dimension file uh, for my custom dimension. But if I wanted to make the frost generate in the overworld instead, let me just grab my uh, vanilla world gen file. This is the vanilla world gen file. I'm just going to uh, find the overworld dimension file. So since it's in dimension overworld, that is pretty obvious because that's where my frost one is too. So if I want to override the default overworld, all I have to do is create a new folder in data. Um, I'm going to call this Minecraft because it is the default Minecraft namespace. So you're going to have to have your namespace and also the Minecraft namespace in your data pack. You're going to want to create a new folder in Minecraft called dimension, just like you have a folder in your namespace called dimension, then all you're going to need to do is copy your dimension file into the overworld, uh, into the Minecraft dimension folder, and just rename it to the file that you want to replace. So since I want to replace the overworld file, I'm going to rename it to overworld, and you don't even need to change anything in this file. And so now this file will overwrite the overworld dimension. So you can do that with any files, actually. You can do that with biomes, and you can do it with basically anything in this folder. So dimension type, you can change that. World gen, you can change biomes, carvers, features, structure features, service builders, noise settings, processor lists, and uh, tempo pools. So basically, you can change around how structures generate. You can change around, like, you could make the villages different um by changing around their template pools or also by overwriting anything in here as well so you can override loot tables recipes structures tags advancements so for example if i wanted to override how the pillager outpost generates i could just find the pillager outpost structure in the default minecraft files so that's going to be pillager outpost and then i guess watchtower so that is in data minecraft structures pillager outpost so all i have to do is go to the minecraft file so that's in data minecraft going to create a new folder called structures another folder in there called pillager underscore outpost and then in pillager outpost i'm going to want to put the structure that i want so i'm just going to take the frost outpost tower that i already have and um just paste that into the pillager outpost folder and i'm going to need to make sure that that is called the same thing as one of the pillager outpost structures to override it so i'm going to rename it to watchtower and so that should override what the overworld looks like and what the pillager outpost looks like. So I'm actually going to change what I did here. I'm going to rename this to the underscore nether because I want the frost to uh, override the nether instead because then the pillager outpost will actually generate in the overworld and you'll be able to see that the watchtower is changed. And one more thing, if you wanted to modify something like uh, default biome, but not actually replace it. Create a new folder in the Minecraft namespace called WorldGen, and then in there, a new folder called 
biome. Maybe I want to take the desert, so I'm just going to copy that and paste it in the biome. And let's see, what would I want to change inside of the desert file? I could change the surface builder to make it grass. Maybe I'll just do that. So that way it doesn't completely replace the desert, it just modifies something inside of it. So I have loaded up a world with that data pack in it, and everything seems normal at first, but if I do slash locate biome desert and teleport there, you're going to see that instead of sand, it's going to have grass. So as you can see, there is grass here, but if I press F3, you can see that I'm in a desert biome. And right here next to it is a desert hills biome, probably. Yeah, that's a desert hills biome. And uh, that has sand because I didn't modify the desert hills biome. I'm going to do slash locate pillager outpost. And this is definitely going to be the frost outpost. There we go. It generated the frost outpost instead of the regular pillager outpost even though this is the normal pillager outpost structure according to the game. And the last thing that I modified, if you remember, is the nether. So I'm going to do slash execute in, and you'll see that frost, the frost still shows up because I didn't actually remove that, but um, we're going to want to be going to the nether instead of the frost dimension. And this will not look like the nether as you can already tell from the sky. Um, let's see. Is it going to load in? Yes, it did. So, this is not what the nether usually looks like. Um, obviously, there are no ice spikes in the nether, but if you look at my T-Bug screen, I am, in fact, in the nether. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything I covered in this video, or if you have anything that you want me to cover in future videos, you can let me know in the comments, or you can talk to me in my Discord server as well, and that is linked in the description. I hope you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching.